All right, let's get a check on the weather now with uh, Wendy Hurrell. And Wendy, some might describe the bank holiday we've just had as slightly disappointing. <laughs> Or a washout. It tipped it down with rain yesterday. Yeah, it was really unpleasant, wasn't it? And I'm afraid it was a bit indicative of how August turned out. We're now into September, of course, and meteorologically, at least, it's the start of the autumn months. But looking back at August, we did have one or two hot days at Kew and Gravesend. It got to 31 degrees on the 22nd. But it's been a pretty wet month, actually. 119 millimetres of rain has fallen over Kenley near Croydon in the whole month of August, which is 203% of the average that we would normally get in August. Lovely. So as we go through the week ahead, uh, we've got a, a mixture of sunshine and showers to begin with, much as we've seen today. It's going to remain rather cool as well with some autumnal mornings. Yes, I'm saying the A word, autumnal. Uh, this is how it looked today with those showers. One or two of them were quite heavy, actually. We've got a little bit of hail. There wasn't too much thunder and lightning around, but the ones that come through tomorrow could have a bit more of that in and we've still got them coming through during this evening and overnight tonight you can dodge round them but they're going to be here and there through the night in between we'll have some drier clearer spells with light winds as well so maybe a mist patch will pop up here and there and these are the temperatures in urban areas I think five to seven degrees is possible across some of the home counties so a distinctly chilly feel to things for your journey to work tomorrow especially if you're caught under one or two of those showers as I say they're pretty well scattered so you should be able to dodge around them and find a bit of sunshine in between through the day and in that it will feel pleasant enough the breeze is coming in from a northwesterly direction but we should get a high of about 19 degrees in central London but as we go through Thursday and Friday actually it's going to be a little bit cooler than that lots and lots of cloud around but generally drier for Thursday quite fresh feel to things with northwesterly winds temperatures just 14 or 15 degrees in some spots across the home counties equally chilly into Friday as well but as I say generally dry once again as for the weekend well it should be mostly dry often quite cloudy pleasant temperatures if not exceptional as you say autumnal well, yes thank you tonight's main headline now Right, that's it for now from me, but let's find out what the weather's got in store for us all with Wendy Harrell. Wendy. Thank you very much. Well, this evening we had the mixture of the sunshine and showers that gave a bit of colour to the sky. This is how it looked a few hours ago. And as we go through this week, we're going to see it becoming drier, but it will stay rather on the cool side. Here's the radar picture from today showing those showers crossing the country, coming in from the northwesterly direction. Some of them are a bit on the heavy side, actually. And there are still a few upstream at the moment heading towards the London area that we're going to see in the next couple of hours or so. So as we continue through the night, we are going to see a few more of those showers but in between there will be some clear sky and with light winds as well temperatures will fall back to single figures around London perhaps as low as six or seven degrees in the countryside so if you're caught under a shower with that chill in the air first thing tomorrow morning I think it might feel a bit autumnal actually through the afternoon again we'll dodge a few more of those showers some sunshine in between and temperatures will be up to 19 degrees on the outlook a drier picture towards the end of the week but staying fairly cool up to Friday Hopefully a decent start to Saturday though. Alex Deacon now for the National Forecast.